my Christmas countdown video like collection. So today I'm going to be choosing the second day, which also means there are 23 days left to the 25th, to the day, Christmas day, if you celebrate on the 25th, and 22 days if you celebrate Christmas on the 24th. So, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe down below to watch more fun Christmas videos, because I'm going to be uploading not only this, but also like DIYs, treats, maybe even a room tour, because I redid my room. But yeah, so let's get choosing. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be picking the second day, which is here, you can see day two, in my wonderful calendar. So day two says, decorate a Christmas tree with a twist. Which is the twist, let me see, is you have some good items and some bad items. So you see my wonderful Christmas tree here? not going to be as wonderful anymore because we're going to be decorating this little thing here. So let's do it. Oh by the way, I'm not sure you can see but I changed my braces colors for Christmas. I'll put a picture here probably. And they're green and red for Christmas spirit because we love Christmas. But yeah, let's just draw it. Okay guys, so here I have my jar with the numbers. But the first thing we're going to do is just take everything off the Christmas tree. Ew, why is this stuck? This actually took me quite a while to decorate, so I'm not very happy about the person who decided these challenges. I'm not, I'm not too happy, okay. Hope you can see like the little top of the tree. You can see it, yeah. So this is the top of the tree. You can kind of see the bottom. But, goodbye. That was my foot, that hurt. Christmas decorations are all over, all over the place. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now that the tree's cleared, I did need the lights on because they're lights, they don't have to do very much with the decoration. So, lights are still on there, but now we're going to be picking the first one. So, let's see my jar. Uh, I'm going to be picking number two. So, here I have all of them. I'm going to be looking for number two. Number two. Uh, okay. Well, we start with a good one, and number two are these little, this, these little ornaments. They're grey and they're like transparent ones, like you can see them, like mirror-like, opaque, and glittery. So, let's open these up. We did it. Mission A complete. Down there. These are wonderful. I love these ornaments. They're so cute. Always. Oh, oh. Okay. And guys, you comment down below when I finish this tree if I should leave it like this for the rest of the Christmas season or if I should decorate it again like I had it before. Because my ornaments were beautiful. I'm sad. Okay, but now let's just add one there. My trousers full of glitter, which is, you know, just great. No, it's not. But you know, we're going to be choosing the next one. The next one is number seven. Or is that seven or four? Well, it's a seven. Let's just leave it at a seven. And if it's a four, we'll just have a four next. So this is number seven. Number seven, where is number seven? I need number seven. Number seven, that's number four. Number seven. Packed up nicely. These are so cool. These are so pretty. They're like so cute. They're like little ornaments, but they're like magical. They're so cute. Guys, I'm not even doing, but 
these are so so cute guys and then this super cute like little stocking and it goes so good with like this so for the moment I'm happy but this is going against the challenge because you know it's supposed to be a bad challenge Number four. Yeah, this is definitely number four. Number four is uh, this. This is like something you would use for like when you're cooking and put a cake on it. So this is probably a weird object. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting it and putting it like you know there's like these special things that you put under your tree and. Let's change the view. One second, let's change the view. I've changed the view and I can see the bottom. So I have this and I'm going to be cutting a hole to it. And I actually found it pretty cute, but it's like not actually supposed to be for what we're using it. But, you yeah, know. Okay. This would actually be good to become, like, to get it as a first object. Because I'm going to have to dismantle the tree. Okay. in little tree hairs but apart from that I really like it now we're gonna go into the next one but for the moment I really like the way the tree is looking it has a really nice pattern but yeah now we're gonna move on to the next one okay guys so the next one I'm gonna be picking is number one what is number one my question where is number one number one no Number one, I'm scared about this. It's very small, and small when it comes to Christmas things cannot be very good. But I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared about this one. We've had pretty good luck for the moment, but I'm sure that this one's going to be like really bad. No, no, I'm not putting edible glitter on a tree. There's no way I'm putting edible glitter. This is edible glitter and it doesn't even look like good glitter. Like, this is like... I'm supposed to put this on the tree? Like, on the tree? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to twist the rules a bit. And, well... Oh, now I'm covered in glitter, so... You know. That's, that, that's just a great from my clothing. Okay. Where to put edible glitter? Where to put it? Where to put edible glitter? I'm just gonna put it below the tree. A bit here. There we go. A bit of glitter here. A bit of glitter there. No one ever said it had to be on the tree. It can be decoration of the table. So. Tastes too good. Definitely horrible and weird one. First of all, who puts glitter on a tree? And second of all, who puts edible glitter on a tree? Like, now I'm covered in glitter. And it's not even nice glitter. It's just annoying, sparkly glitter. But yeah, let's move on to the next one. I hope it's better because I'm not very happy about this round. So I have this one and I really hope it's better because edible glitter on my table isn't 
the best thing. Okay. Next one is number nine. Num number nine is this one. Ready? Okay. This is bone beads or snow. I'm supposed to put snow on my tree. Like, guys, ready? This is like the thing that you touch it, gets out of the bag, you will never pick it up again. So, where to put this? Oh, I know. I'm gonna just take this wonderful ornament and I'm gonna put it as a topping. There we go. And then I'm gonna. Oh, I'm scared. I don't want to spend the rest of my evening picking up snow from the floor. There we go. My wonderful Christmas bucket ornament. Boom. There we go. It's random but cute. If you want crisp, if you want snow, you just put a bucket like that. Woo. There you go. It's a Christmas bucket. So, that one was also very random. And I had to improvise a bit and twist the rules around, but yeah, there's still Christmas snow on the tree, which is the main reason. Now we're going to be picking the next one. So the next one is number 10. 10, 10, 10 is this one. You can have a sneak peek. Oh, this, this is like a, oh, it's a Christmas topping, sort of like Christmas tree topper ornament. This one's so cute. It's for, it's for my real Christmas tree, what we normally put on the Christmas tree. But I'm gonna make him sit up here with my other Christmas ornament. There we go. There we go. Little guy sitting up there. But that one was really cute. I really like that guy. He's so cute. But now we're going to be moving on to the next one. So the next one is number five. Which is Christmas ornament tapey majiggy thingy. Whatever you want to call it. It's like to wrap presents. So. Uh. I'm just gonna cut a piece and I don't know. Wonderful. On the tree. That's the aim of the challenge. Get it on the tree. It's random. Weird, but that's the challenge to make a random Christmas tree. But yeah, now we're going to move on to the next one. The next one is number eight, and what is number eight? Wait, this is three. This is eight. Oh. Earbuds, ready? You're making me put earbuds on a Christmas tree? Like, and they're not even they're tangled. They're tangled. Oh, well. You know. Christmas ornament. Well, that's uh, gonna be toffee. Who puts earbuds on a Christmas tree? Totally normal. Okay. We're just gonna do the typical of wrapping it around the Christmas tree. Or we can just say that the Christmas tree, the Christmas tree is listening to music. Let's leave it at that. So there we go. One earbud there and another earbud there. The Christmas tree listens to music now. Do not say anything to a Christmas tree. He likes to listen to Christmas music. That's my new the earbuds. There we go. Christmas tree with earbuds. Totally normal. Let's move on. So number three is this one. Something's weird. What is this? Oh, this is like tea. Hmm. Nice 
how we do. It smells like oh, it's like Christmas. It smells like cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. cinnamon. It's so cute. It smells so good. But what it does on the tree, do not ask me. Okay. So I'm gonna put. This one smells so good. I wish you guys could smell them. They're so good. I'm gonna put one over there. This is this looks really weird now. It's a Christmas tree with key on it when headphones. And yeah. Oh, my Christmas tree is ruined with the headphones and with the Christmas tea on it. Tea bag, like we who puts tea bag on a Christmas tree? Well, I do. But don't don't touch that. So we have our wonderful tree ornaments and tree tape. Okay. The last one is this one, which is a cooking set for Christmas. This is Christmassy, but it's Christmas. Why not? This would be really cool for like a DIY cooking set or like treat, but not for a Christmas treat. That I know for sure. So it comes with these little things like for baking and they're so cute so I'm just going to be putting one of these really cute green ones on top of our tree, you know, because it's cute. It has a hat now, our Christmas tree has a hat. And then we have these like little sticks to put on like food I guess. I'm going to be putting, ah, it's falling. I'm going to be putting one inside of our bucket. And I'm going to be taking one of these. And I will be putting it, uh, there. There we go. That was it. Okay, so I finished doing the Christmas tree and I hope you liked it and if you did give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below to watch more fun videos like this one and yeah to watch more Christmas videos because I will be coming at you every day with another one of these crazy challenges. So I'll see you guys tomorrow actually. And if you want to check out yesterday's video it will be here and Tomorrow's video or another video will be here. So yesterday's, tomorrow's or another video will be here. So yeah. And if you want to subscribe here, I'll probably have or down here, I'll have my little icon so you can subscribe. So yeah, click it and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!